so the end time warnings is um it's seeming like a very continuous um morning and many times when you speak to people about end time they're like it's been a very long time they've been saying it so <coughs> it's not coming people think it's not coming i had a dream two nights ago i've had dreams many times hopefully you people listen for your own good by the grace of god i am saved and no matter where you see me i've never get corrupted by that environment because i am saved i don't know if you are saved i don't know if you accepted jesus christ as a personal lord and savior and you fled from every form of disobedience against god's words and not being a hypocrite christian because christianity many times is is about how you look for christians many places they say don't wear this don't wear that that's necessary but that's not the main thing that we are preaching as the word of god as the spirit of god had told me from the time he was very raw in my it was very raw when i was newly initiated in the spirit of in the spirit of the truth and as as one of the end time armies if he was one of my siblings or any of my close friends that had that had had these encounters i would have been one of the people that would have been repented but it's very shocking and surprising to me that um Many people that I thought that are Christians that really knew God, they don't get convicted or convinced, even if they they knew what I went through, both from my family, <coughs> close family members, and a bit further. People think it's a joke. This continuous warning. I had a dream two nights ago. I didn't. I didn't reveal it here because I'm like when I even came out of that. In that dream, it's like. Oh my god in that dream anyways i was warning my family members it was actually it was looking as if but now i'm trying to i'm trying to understand it now that um, um i was sent for the people that knew me that know me aside the glo um the national or the global um people that would hear from outside um people that should benefit from this favor from this end time warning should be my crew, those that surround me, my family, close family members, those that have known me, that have always known me, you know, those people that are like, they know you too well, kind of things. You know, salvation is for everybody. Salvation is not for only those that want to know God. Salvation is for sinners. Salvation is, is open to everybody. The reason why Jesus Christ, they have been warning you, Jesus Christ have been, have been telling us to warn and warn and warn is because he doesn't want to destroy people. He doesn't want souls to be perished. And I've been sharing as many videos as possible, especially on my Facebook. Uh, if you are wise enough, you will just listen. Like, you don't need to. You don't need to be disobedient again after many videos because there's been so many directions. You have so many things. So many ways to really repent and so many videos, so many directions. If you don't want to like there's no there's no reason for for disobedience anyways and i'm saying it that if I, if it was one of my family members or my husband or my siblings or my mother or my father that had the encounter because they, went, they knew what i went through that had the encounters i had that knew the spiritual battles i faced before getting to the point of being one of the end time warners and soldiers of Christ and warning the world, those kind of things, I would have not been reluctant. I would have not been blocked headed. Ah, because if not for anything, first of all, this person is not behaving like they were behaving before. Second of all, this person is a new person. Wow, like I would be considerate and I would be wise enough to want to change. And there has been so many dreams backing it up. God cannot show one person something. He will show different people. So if you're seeing it everywhere, what do you think it's all about? That warning is for you. But you want to block your heart. You want to block your mind. God does not want you to perish, but you want to perish. You will perish. I just want to be honest. Eh? So in this dream, in that dream, I, um, I was... Um, I was among my family members and stuff, I don't even know how I saw myself around 
a kind of Catholic church thingy. Uh. If I'm, I'm coming from there, so I will always call Catholic church. Whoever I want to be offended, you, you offended. It's not even a church in the spirit. It's a cult. Because Illuminati and so many stupid cultism started from... It's like it's one of the origin. Anyways, not only Catholic church. I always say this, but Catholic uh. is where I came from. And I was delivered from. And I know how much possessions. I, I am like I am... I was from there and I knew the path. I knew what I went through. I knew the demons I had to fight or I still fight every day or that try to invade dreams and all of that nonsense. So I was around that area anyways. In that dream, it was looking like the world. It was it was now referred to like as the world. You know, you would you as the dream, the dream. How many times you would understand the dream because the spirit of God is giving you that revelation and not. It's giving you that revelation, and so it will give you that understanding already. So, right, as a person, as a human understanding, you will not get it. But there is a spirit that will explain it to you spiritually, and you will need to like settle down to be able to understand. It. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes immediately, and all of that, depending on how deep you've gone in the spirit. So, in this dream, it was a healing. Like it was like the world was wrapping up already. Like then. It was like a hilly place leading up and then that upper side was the Catholic Church and I think the reason why I was given that dream is because I was from there so I understand it's not the dream I'll say oh it's only the Catholic Church is the right place to go the Catholic Church was the only church there and guess who are the people that were around me I could recognize my family family members even in-laws I could I, I didn't see some people but I, I could sense their presence because by his grace, I, God has given me the spirit to be able to sense presence and spirits. So, that um, the Catholic Church was on the hill. It was the only church that existed in that dream. It was on the top part of the hill. And you would struggle to get there. In that dream, everybody was tr like going through this tribulation thing that everybody is going through. Look at prices of things. Look at taxes. Look, come to Nigeria. People are complaining about um, Europe and all of that. Come to Nigeria and see the meaning of expensive life. But at least Nigeria is really not as bad as, as the UK. But it's just that things are expensive. The UK, the air is already suffocated, like it's so tight. Meanwhile, in Nigeria, the air is clear. But prices of things are very ex so everybody's going through one side or the other of tribulation. Anyways. In that dream, people were seeking God. They were everybody was hungry for God. People were seeking God's um God's help. People were hungry for God. All those people, both the people I knew and the people that I did not know that were in that church and the surrounding. I was like on the hill. I was I was like coming from the lowest part of the hill and I was speaking. Oh, what, how did it even go? I, I saw myself coming from the lowest part of the hill anyway, walking up to the hill. And like, in that dream, I was like, I was speaking, oh, I was saying, I was speaking, I was telling the truth. In that dream, that voice, my voice was sounding like a drum. It was sounding like, at the same time, it was sounding like um, a gong, you know? Is it gong or what? Do you know that you're a bad drum? The way the, the drum sounds when somebody's, and somebody's speaking with it, when two of them become a voice and... It was more like it was like um I was like goo, 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 goo. that was the voice was very thunderous. It was thunderous, it was sounding like a drum and it was the truth. Do you understand? So as I was saying it and I was looking around, everybody I was speaking to was still busy going to church, was still busy going to the Catholic. I was like, and then I was speaking. To, I, in fact, I could see my mother, my face one time. And then I was speaking to her. My phone, I was like, my mom was looking at me like, why is your voice like that? She was like, my my mom was like, was why is your voice like that? Her face was like that. And then me, I was like, the reason why my voice. I'm still trying. To, I know you are supposed to understand why my voice is like that because you already know the spirit of God is upon me. But it was like, I was still even trying to explain myself even more. Hey. 
I was not saying, do, you know, the reason why my voice is like this is I, I was even wondering why I was even around that environment. First of all, probably it's because I'm still I'm, I'm like in the the midst of the Catholicans or whatever they call themselves. Uh, the reason why my voice was sounding like this is be, it's because of God is warning me, is telling me, is telling, is warning everybody, is telling me to tell you people that you people should repent. And this was my voice was it was sounding like drum and bars like. <coughs> Actually, I'm kind of I'm going back to that dream right now sounding because my boy I kind of have sore throat so It was crazy and as I'm talking to her I'm expecting her to be convicted because you are looking for God. You are hungering for God You're supposed to know that this is not my voice. This is not my real voice I'm not speaking from my own tone. I'm not speaking from my own understanding I'm speaking by the person that sent me. It was obvious. That I was telling the truth, but my mother did not listen to me everybody else especially the family members and this brought me back uh, i was i was god wants me to keep speaking because he's the one that gave me that voice you know my mother was not listening everybody everybody was like reluctant hey and in that dream i was like i'm tired of speaking to these people I kind of i looked up to the sky like i could see god's face in that dream because me that's how i actually communicate with god i communicate with him like he's by my side because that's how i feel and that's how i want to feel like god is by my side it's not just that god is on the throne but he's here with me so i know to god that you see these people that you keep sending me to go speak to they're not listening to me then they don't want to listen why do i have to keep speaking but I still had that voice, so I need to keep speaking. So as an end time, I mean, no matter how people are reluctant, deaf ears or whatever, don't drop your message. Don't stop your message from them. You have to keep speaking because that's the reason why they sent you. Be a parrot forever until Christ comes again because your assignment will be brought out to you, you know, not because of their reluctance that you stop. God convicts some people immediately. Or some people allow God to convict them immediately. They allow the Spirit of God to convict them immediately. Why some? It would take a while. Why some? We not listen. It is will never be God's fault if those people perish or go to hell. So who go perish, go perish. Whether you speak or you do not speak, but do not hold your voice. Because you are not being listened to, or because your family members are not being listened, they are not listening to you. When I was newly initiated in the spirit of God, when God, when I was newly like, when the spirit of God bestowed upon me heavily, my voice changed. Go ask my mother. Now I can I can try to bring the voice out. My voice changed. I was sounding like ooh, it was, it was, I was even scared of my own voice and all of that. And it made some doctors feel like I was having mental disorder or whatever. Nah, it was the spirit of God. And I still have that that spirit now. Just that I had to ad adapt and like make it human so that people would not feel scared of me or all of those kind of things. But after everything, my mother did never listened to me. But it will not make me to stop speaking to her or repeating myself or being a parrot to her because of she's not listening to me. She's not the only one, but I always use as an example because a lot of people know her as a Christian, a very strong Christian. Now, many like her that do not listen to God, but they think that they are Christians, they will not make heaven. It's not a sad truth. It's the truth because... God is sending this message to them. It's just like my daughter, I'm, I'm practicing a kind of this, and then my daughter grows up and starts speaking to me. And I, went, I saw what my daughter went through. I knew that my daughter went through hell. I saw it. It's my, I will never be disobedient. They used to say that I used to be stubborn. But I realized that the people that are stubborn are the people that you think that are not stubborn. My dear, I'm the most obedient child of God that I know by his special grace and I practice I practice what I preach I listen I listen to God a lot more than people that claim to be Christians and born against but they are born against the will of God 
and when they come around me i like i feel like my environment is like is like filthy that's how it feels probably because of the, of the spirit in them and that used to feel like it was the spirit of god but i know that that's not the spirit of god that's those deity like whatever they are serving that is making them to feel like that do you know demons demons ideas like them bringing up so many things in the world and all of that where do you think that those madness those nonsense practices that we all those wickedness where do you think it came from from demons from the devil so the demons they have they have a way of thinking intelligently <coughs> <clears throat> but the way of God is one and clear and easy and incorruptible okay I seeked for God even before now before God arrested me I seeked for God my sister used to have end time dream. I never had it until almost two years ago when I had my baby that was when God started everything and heavily it, like, it came to me like it came to me like like a huge deal uh, i know what i went through those that were around me they knew the kind of birth i had they knew the kind of things i went through after having my baby i sell my stories on youtube and many places even on facebook so there's so much witnesses there's so much evidences to give you that these things are true but you decide to block your ears hmm? It's up on your shoulders. All we can do is pray. You see death, yes, while we are praying, while we are praying for you, you are not receiving. Who goes so far? I'm not be you. Now you go so far. Flesh, soul, and body. Everything goes so far. Oh, it's not good to have a heart that does not listen to God, though. A heart that thinks that they listen to God. Oh, and another one is all of you going to initiate like pastors that serve other gods and act like that that they are serving the god almighty a lot of your pastors god has revealed if if i see somebody now i'm not communicating with them but the spirit in them their spirit is immediately connect like immediately revealed to me what this person is doing and most times it used to be their fault and sometimes i used to ask the holy spirit like why are you giving me this information? What do you want me to do about it? Do you want me to go and meet this person and tell them this thing that you are doing is not... These people will not hear. <coughs> I know it's the spirit that is behind them. But also, you as the person, try not to be interested in that spirit that is, that is trying to make you to be disobedient. Try to fight it. You can't be comfortable in sin. And I expect the grace of God to abide in you. And you're saying God loves me. God loves me regardless. I've got, I've got killed all the bad people in the world. God has respect for human life. God does not kill people like chicken. God is not devil. It's the devil that wants people to just die anyhow. Blah, 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 blah. But what is the wages of sin? Death. What? The original plan of God is not to kill man. Death was not part of God's plan with Adam and Eve. It was disobedience that caused it willing disobedience so at the same time as you are willing to disobey you need to be willing to obey so even if i'm dragging you like a goat trying to force you to listen to god and you're not listening the worst part is that you're not even listening after I'm forcing you're not even listening you did not tell you softly how will not happen oh we will keep preaching until jesus comes we will keep being his parrot is hey he's talking drum until he comes until he comes again in glory and we are bold enough to be able to stand before him it's not like when we sing we're afraid because we did something bad behind no our life is transparent there is no hiding of anything in our mind because that's how the children of god work living a transparent life living a holy life confronting issues that need to be sorted out and allowing the spirit to guide our life I can't speak more than I have just spoken. Onion wearing tiga nunti. Like who get here? I ain't go here. Who won't get here? Like who won't perish? Go perish. Who won't live? Go live. Who won't die? Go die. Anything you want in this life, that is what God will give you. You understand? So people that are trying to help you or save your life for a while, it, they will. He will try to help you for a while, but it will not last forever. 
because you're the one that is to decide then it's your decision to listen to god god loves you whether you are sinful or not that's the best part of it when you now confess your sins and completely surrender that is when god will now walk into your life and your life will never look like what it was in the past i can never relate myself with what i used to be before never we are not we are completely different beings like when i came back to my husband after two years my husband's like i'm a completely different person he's trying to recognize who i am that is how you're going to be when you change your life and the best people to be around are actually people that have gone through that and god have taught things and many people get to learn the holy spirit the spirit's understanding thingy by um, when they study old bible old this this but the spirit of god teaches his people some people get that understanding and the spirit of god comes upon them to explain but there are people that do not have to study anything all they have to do is to read their bible all they have to do is to sit down and listen to god and god will start downloading information some people say you don't even need to sit down anywhere when, when you step out you start getting messages you start communicating many times you find me lost in thoughts i'm not lost in thoughts really i'm communicating at no matter where i am i could be in a very noisy place i would be able to still communicate i would still be able to pray for people and all of that in my heart and both prayer that you do in your mind in your heart in your out in the mouth they are all powerful and important and you need to live a transparent holy life For you to be able to see God. How do you see God here on earth? By communicating with him. Having that. Not having anything hidden. Not living a, a fake life. Or like a pretentious life. Or a people's pleaser life. You will you become empty as you are. So that God can now pour his spirit in you. I will not speak more, longer than this. Um, if you get ears. If you have ears. Listen, if not, whatever you want, may God give it to you. That's my prayer right now. I will keep being a parrot. This is for being a parrot, talking, speaking against the Catholic Church, all these negativities. I will keep doing that. I don't even like calling... The Spirit of God in me does not like me calling that in a church. The cult, just as many other places, I depend on money and all of that, that will brainwash you and you think that you are worshipping God. me my prayer is um god extremely extremely like with heavy extremation exposes your pastors both the good and bad bring them out vomit their their dark sides and like put them where they're supposed to be if they will not turn your brain or make you to realize where you are then you are something is really wrong with you but it calls for willingness to obey willing to obey because if it's for the truth we all know the truth demons know the truth now it's demons that will do bad things but it's demons that will accuse you of the bad that you do who witnesses against the children of god demons that do worse To be for one is to be for um if you want yeah yeah if no one yeah no yeah god bless you amen <laughs>